the first day back and a first opportunity for the assembly to mark Margaret Thatcher's death. For some, it was a chance to turn to YouTube to explain why they were staying away. I think I'd be pretty hypocritical if I sat in with it, uh, as I wouldn't be able to say uh, my views, I wouldn't be able to explain what I thought about the very complex and divisive nature of Thatcherism in Wales, the way it's affected our society. First item on the agenda this afternoon, our obituary tributes to Baroness Thatcher. The presiding officer will be at tomorrow's funeral. So will the First Minister and Leader of the Opposition, two men who today struck quite different tones. There are many of us in this chamber who will have a great deal of disagreement with the policies that were put in place during her time as Prime Minister. And those views will be very strongly felt by many across Wales. Tomorrow, however, a family will be in mourning and they must be allowed to grieve with dignity. I passionately believe that Prime Minister Thatcher put the great back into Great Britain and history will judge her to have been the most successful peacetime Prime Minister this country has had. There were empty seats and with some Labour and Plaid members staying outside, another two leaders chose their words carefully. Where I live in the Romva, people's chief memory of her time in office is that of the closure of the pits. The bitter miners' strike changed industrial policy, and we are still paying the price for that today. Her legacies rightly evoke strong reactions, and those legacies, whether for good or for bad, they still affect our lives today. That is why they were determined to stay outside, united in their belief that the Assembly had got this wrong. Not being able to participate in the debate today, uh, this is really my only opportunity to express those many, many reservations that I've had expressed to me by many of my constituents, many of whom are ex-miners, workers from other industries and so on, who really question why we're having this debate at all. The Archbishop of Wales says he can't be at tomorrow's funeral because of prior engagements, but Plaid Cymru's parliamentary leader, Elvin Floyd, has said he'll be there, along with all three Wales office ministers. It's extremely sad that so many people lost their jobs, and I've no doubt that she would have shared uh, the, the, the sorrow over that. Uh, but nevertheless, leaders have to take difficult decisions. And she was a strong leader, and she took those difficult decisions. Protest made, it was on with the afternoon's business. Tomorrow, we're told, will be business as usual.